affluence has never really been recognized as a legal defense. <laughs> it was more a hush hush, look at your shoes thing, while affluent people, celebrities, politicians, and their children were treated much more gently by the justice system than others. And while affluence often helps those people get away with more, more often, it has its downsides. When it comes to addictions, being affluent can fund a slide downhill that can be near impossible to escape. Redmond O'Neill, 39, is the son of Ryan O'Neill and Farrah Fawcett. Now, he grew up in affluence and it's not had the best of impacts on him. His troubles began very early in life. He struggled with substance abuse since his teenage years. His father would say that he never saw a scarier side of addiction than he has with Redmond. In the most recent series of troubles, Redmond was charged with attempted murder and armed robbery back in 2018 with two separate incidences. In the attempted murder case, he stabbed a bunch of random people in Los Angeles, injuring five. He was found incompetent to stand trial and has been locked up in a mental health facility ever since, more than six years now. It did not help that Redmond inherited a hefty sum soon after his mother died, which when he seemed to slide deeper into a life of addiction and crime. Prior to his current incarceration, Redmond's been in and out of drug rehab at least 13 times, has had multiple probation revocations, and because of his behavior was not able to attend his father's funeral, and he was shackled at his mother's funeral. And it's unknown when or if O'Neill will ever be found competent to stand trial. Thank you for listening. If you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more, please click the subscribe button and hit those notifications so that you don't miss any uploads. We appreciate you. Thanks.